Alright, hello and welcome to this week's vlog, and I'm going to start off strong by saying that I have finished Dune by Frank Herbert. I thought it was really well done. Now, I believe that the, with the movie, it also goes into the second book as well, and that uh, I gave it a three and a half out of five stars, just because I thought it was like dry in some areas and I think that was just because it's a very political and uh, kind of based book but it was fast paced I did really like it I mean I feel that because I started listening to Dune as an audiobook that I finished reading the rest I think that I might enjoy it more by listening to it so I think I'm going to start listening to this second book maybe tomorrow the day after I'm not too sure but I'm sure it's going to be a great read or listen as they say I hope would recommend Dune if you're really into a fantasy, futuristic kind of sci-fi type of series. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty good for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next, but uh, that is this all up in the hanging, and I'm sure I'll pick something good, but uh, thumbs up for it. Would recommend. And I'm uh, happy that I can now put this uh, on my shelf. Alright? Um, so yeah. Alright, thanks. Bye! Hello and welcome to today's reading debate. And I've decided to throw all caution to the wind and my tea bear to the wind, and I've started to read Maybe Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. <sighs> I know I had the library book like last week, did not read it, but I did find it on my e-reader. And then when I was at the library tonight, I also saw it. I almost picked it up. But then I was like, no, I already have it in my e-reader, so that's what I'm going to do. So I have started reading it. I'm about 80 pages in, which is great and fantastic. But yeah, so it just kind of shows to go show me that it doesn't matter how many books I have, I'm always going to read what I want to read. And I can't say no to Taylor Jenkins Reid. So, so far it's so good. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's only... 260 pages so it should be a quick read we're gonna go from there and uh you know that's kind of it for that on that aspect i also need to get going on my craft projects right because i would prefer to get one done by saturday or sunday but i know i'm probably not going to at this rate but you never know you gotta try you gotta try doing your crafts right because i you know mainly gotta get it done just in general, so I can move on to the next craft project, you know? Right, but that's that, that's craft, and then also, because this is a uh, reading, craft, and job kind of vloggity vlog, and that, uh, yeah, so like, I guess, I am just looking at the job market and seeing what's out there, what I can be doing, and what I can want to be doing, I guess. Just keeping my options open and going from there. And, uh, but you know what? I will never not work at the library, at least for right now. I mean, I love working at the library. And what I like about my Monday shifts is that, uh, I could be listening to books, uh, or, like, whatever I want. So I've, uh, continued on listening to Dune, just so that way I can pick up more than what I read, just to go from there. And so I think that is also a great little aspect that I've done. But yeah, you know, thumbs up to that. So that's just kind of my update for today, and I'm sure I'll update you guys again tomorrow on more of, uh, you know, maybe in another life, right? But we'll see, because tomorrow is another day, another life. <laughs> All right, bye! All right, so I've uh, now finished reading Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I thought it was so cute. I like the idea where just, like, one decision could change your life forever that you know you made like the one decision and this is the path you go down and then you chose the other decision and that's the like, part in which you go down and i believe that is the only basically all the books of taylor jenkins read that i have now read which i'm happy that i have the only book that i haven't read by her and I can't seem to find is Nova. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find that book, but if I do, I am definitely going to read it because, you know, like I think that it would be like a really great read. I should probably look online for that book and see if I can find it. But anyways, other than that, I think things are going super great. Uh, I mean, so I believe that I, well, I really enjoy Taylor Jenkins' read. 
and while I was out and about, I took a look on my phone at the Hoopla app, which is like this app you can get through uh, the library and you can take out books digitally from there. And from there, I borrowed the Anna Green Gables graphic novel, which uh, ended up being like quite nice and quite good. And I actually ended up reading it, liked it and enjoyed it. And then all the major points were there. It kind of felt like it was dropping around a little bit, but it is what it is. But uh, I ended up picking up this from the library. It is Wonka, and it is like an adaptation of uh, what happened in the movie. So I think I'm going to end up reading that book like, right now, uh, just because it's got a lot of like bigger writing and bigger pages because it is kind of meant for somebody else. Or not, well but for children so I think it'll be a quick easy read and uh, hopefully I can have it finished by Wednesday right so that way I can definitely have it done or not Wednesday or have it done by Thursday so that way I can just return it when I'm there and I think that'll be fine but yeah so that's just kind of it for me and you know thumbs up for that and I uh, just like kind of finished two books or a graphic novel and a book tonight and I have them pretty feel pretty proud of myself I must say <laughs> well anyways that was kind of weird I'm sorry that was creepy but thumbs up hopefully you are reading everything your heart desires and uh, you know hopefully I can actually get uh, to get to the books that I actually physical books that I have versus borrowing ones from the library and reading on my tablet or my uh, Kobo but you just, it doesn't matter as long as I'm reading, yes. All right, bye. All right, it's super exciting. I have now finished Wonka by Zebra Pounder. Now this is like a direct kind of adaptation of the movie that came out. You know how it's all about how Willie became Wonka is the tagline, uh, I guess. And then uh, this is it was really well done. What I especially liked about like this book is that uh, so you can see like the word beaming and then famous on this side, right? And how <clears throat> a lot of the words in like the this book were kind of like emphasized like that, right? And you know, even like perfect and luminous and delighted, right? We're just, I don't know. I thought that was like a really nice added touch. And of course, because it's Wonka, I was definitely eating some chocolate as I was reading it because you know, that's how you do, right? But to kind of keep going with this like walk kind of thing, you would never guess like, what just happened, right? Was that my book of the month, the books just arrived and I got a few add-ons, right? And so one of the add-ons that I decided to get was The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer, which was like, a, it's kind of like a Willy Wonka kind of rendition. So this is currently what I'm going to be reading next or right now. I'm going to be starting it soon. Yes right but my uh, book of the month book then which like, I chose I actually chose uh, two of them and I ended up paying for them so one is listen for the lie the lie by Amy uh, Tentier and Annie the bot by uh, uh, Saria I'm saying that wrong I'm sorry Greer right and I thought that uh, both of these would be super good. I know that they're both kind of thrillers. I know this is kind of like a sci-fi kind of thriller. Or I think that uh, I'm going to enjoy Listen for the Lie a little bit more, right? But Annie Abbott is going to be, uh, you know, I think that the title is going to be a little bit uh, fantastical, right? And it's just going to be something uh, worth the read, I think, right? But here are my three book of the month books. I know. Instead of being three or one, I got three, which is very super exciting. Gosh, just trying to get them all stand up at one time. Apparently this harder than what you would think. But yeah, here you go. Super excited about it. And yeah, so this is kind of what I'm going to be reading. I think I'm going to be focusing on reading my book of the month books going forward. I know that I got Georgie all along from the library, but I think I'm going to be returning that on Saturday because honestly, I kind of want to be reading my book of the month books right now. And that's kind of where I need to be at and what I think is kind of the direction in which I'm going to be going. Just because the wishing game and listen for the lie era kind of my go-to books right now and what I want to be reading so that is that right 
But anyways, double thumbs up for finishing a book and getting to start another one. And, you know, reading priorities uh, change and we can always go with the flow and we can choose what we want, right? But yeah, mm, excited. All right, back to reading. All right, bye. Hello. So. I decided that when I was at the library that what I'm going to start doing, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, is that every week I'm going to get a book from the library and I'm going to try to read it that week to try to make it easier on myself. And I took a bunch of a look at it that I'm going to be reading or getting um, like a graphic novel, right, like this one. Now, I have read a few graphic novels before and they take you like an hour at the most. And this is an adult one, so it just it didn't take me that long to read. But uh, you know, between the adults, the teen, and the uh, junior graphic novels, I'm sure I'll have something. But like, I don't want to be reading a lot of the junior ones just because I'm not really interested in them, right? And I mean, <clears throat> not all of them. Maybe I'll start looking at the Pokemon ones just because they're Pokemon. Right? It's because there's lots of them. Maybe the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones, just so that way it's easier on myself. And I could be like, ooh, like, I read another book, right? Which is going to make my Goodreads, like, book count seem, like, just go absurdly high unnecessarily when, you know, majority of them are going to be graphic novels. Which, for next year, if I like it and I continue on doing it, well, if I'm reading one a week, or like one a week, then it, like that's 52 in a year, right? So then if I do 50 novels and 50 graphic novels, that way like I could easily read like 100 books in a year, right? Or like books, right? But it's something, right? Like is it fair to say that? But I feel like it's just something that I can take out from the library and I feel like just to kind of utilize that and to like be reading a novel every week too. So I guess it would be like 104 I'd be kind of aiming for the year, which is great. All right, and then I could also access the Hoopla app and there's multiple branches. So we'll just we kind of have to see, take how it goes. Because I know there's three that I'm considering getting next week, which are, you know, they're obviously quick, easy reads, but then we we'll to go from there. I don't know. All right, so I did that and then I ended up purchasing this because like, you know, you have to use it easy see it. His Look Out for the Little Guy by Scott Lang, you know, an Ant-Man book. <laughs> and I'm going to plan to read it. It's probably going to be the most ridiculous thing out there and uh, quite the farce. But, uh, you know, it's something, right? Gotta love it. But that's just kind of like where I'm at with that. So I'm kind of excited there. But yeah, thumbs up. Got uh, one graphic novel and another book, right? But I'm pr I'm sure that uh, as soon as I'm done with uh, this book, that I I might end up giving it to a friend of mine, or I might just use it as a decoration or something like that. But I mean, hopefully it's going to be quite the humorous book. I mean, gotta love it, <laughs> all right? Oh man, it just takes me back to like how I met your mother and like the uh, the books that. Uh, the Barney Stinson put it, you know? Those were pretty funny, those were pretty cool, right? <laughs> but anyways, that's just kind of it for me, or just, it was just my little update, my little dip it, right? Thumbs up. All right, bye. All right, hello and welcome everybody to today's reading dip it. I have just finished reading The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. I would highly recommend this book. It's a five out of five stars for me. I really loved it, really enjoyed it. I would so recommend. It's like a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory kind of not a retelling but esque type of story. What it's about is that uh, there's this novelist uh, named Jack Masterson that her masters who wrote this like series and nobody's like heard of him in several years. He lives on this island and he has written one more book and creates this challenge that and he invites certain people you know like the fans to certain fans to come to his house to participate in this challenge to get like the first editions of the entire series and the main character Lucy ends up uh, winning because it's just she has to win and it's all about uh, the 
only wishes get granted for like the brave children of the world and it is just so well done so well written i read it in like one large sitting oh i just highly recommend this book i'm so happy that i've added that i added this book on to my book of the month this month my book of the month order and oh my gosh it's so good it's such a page turner i would highly recommend i really really enjoyed it i'm so happy that i kind of decided to pause my other reading to read it oh my gosh thumbs up for me would highly recommend i hope everybody reads the wishing game if you if you don't read anything else this year just my highly suggestion is the wishing game it's just it's so cute so adorable yeah i don't know thumbs up for me <laughs> all right bye Whew. all right so as you may be able to tell i got a book haul and I know I'm not supposed to buy any more books, but too bad, because they were all super cheap. They were a donation at uh, the bookstore. So, you know, here we go. I got 1984 by George Orwell. I got Rich People Problems, which is the third in the series of Crazy Rich Asians. And now it'll go as the same size and print of my China Rich Girlfriend and Crazy Rich Asians. So perfect to go there. I was waiting for this one to come in. Love it. And I know it's a no more coho, but Reminders of Him by Colin Hoover. All right. And then Hooked by Emily McIntyre, which is a Captain Hook retelling or kind of story. The Happy and Never After Playlist by Abby Jemines. Right. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Want to see what this is all about? Right. And then, I've always wanted to know what an Allie Hazelwood book is like. Now I own The Love Hypothesis, and I can really find out. And then lastly, and not least, I got a, a uh, Mabel, which is a 12 New B Mysteries, which is an Agatha Christie style. And it's written by all these like different people. So I'm really hoping that the Lucy Foley story is going to hopefully be better than some of her books because I'm very mixed with her as an author but hopefully with, uh, with Lee Bardugo I haven't really read anything about her so hopefully that'll be great and Ellie Griffiths if that one's great I will look into more of her books but from what I understand that a lot of these stories are going to be great but uh, that was a nine books and then the girl I uh, I know this is all by curious now Oh my gosh, ah, crash and burn of books, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, so many. Whew. I'm loving it, like it. Oh my gosh, line it all up perfectly. This is so not going as pulling in as quickly as I want, but anyways, yes. And then the girl I volunteer with, she let me borrow Discovery of Riches by Deborah Harkness, which I read, or not read, I watched the TV series uh, back in December, end of November, December, so I'm hoping, and I didn't realize that it was uh, actually a, a book series, apparently that, a oh, book one of All Souls Trilogy, that she's going to let me borrow the other two, she just, says, she just doesn't know where they are, but uh, you know what, to be perfectly honest, I'm probably only going to read the first one, which is great, in Discovery of Riches. So I'm, going, I'm happy that I'll probably read this one sooner rather than later, because that way it's in my mind still, because the TV show was only a couple of months ago. I was kind of like, eh, eh, with the TV show. The first season was, like, really great, but then afterwards I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about it. But yeah, Discovery of Riches. All right, so I got uh, my reading you know, planned out for the next little bit, right? More to add to my book, my uh, bookshelf here, which I'm super happy about. I think the most, the one I'm happiest about is uh, Rich People Problems, right? Because it goes with, uh, you know, I can complete this series with the same size books and the covers, so that's all you can really hope for. I hear Hooked is really good. The Happy Ever After playlist I'm looking, really looking forward to as well, as well as The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. So yeah, thumbs up. Right? Right. So, yeah. Alright. Bye. Alright. 
Welcome to the today's reading tip at the end of this vlog. Alright, so I'm now currently reading Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia Fairies by Heather Fawcett. So I'm glad that, but here's kind of like my kind of current TBR, mainly because the bottom two books are borrowed so I want from a friend. So if I don't get them back for like a couple months, that's fine because they're going to be safe here. But otherwise, the center row there with my book of the month books is my current, also my current TV here, but this is more like on the docket what I'm reading, which is super great. And I might just switch over to the e-reader or the Kobo for it. I don't know. I do not know. But I'm not going to get a lot of reading done today, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to get a lot done tomorrow. So that's that, right? Anyways, that uh, I've had a good week. I've read a few books, a lot of graphic novels, but uh, yeah, right. Can't go wrong. Picked up a lot of uh, a lot of books in the past two weeks, which is kind of bittersweet, I guess. You know, right? I'm just happy that I have this space for it. I mean, at the end of the day, who knows? Some of these books may end up. Uh, going somewhere else, you know, as gifts or something like that. But anyways, that is just it. You know, thumbs up. Hopefully everybody is doing alright. Everybody has a great week. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Alright, bye.